And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Is It Flash? That's right, we're going to be playing the list from the Mythic Championship. That was the most popular list over there, did well. We're playing some Is It Flash today. We had a, a donation to play an Is It Counter Burn deck, and this is what we're, we're going with. This deck's pretty solid. I've been, been seeing de a definite up uptick in this deck just playing against it on Magic Arena over the, the last week or so. Um, so let's go ahead and give this list a try. There's definitely some spicy cards in the sideboard with a couple Skargon Hellkites and an Ember Cleave and everything. Um, but of course, this deck's just trying to play all instant speed except for the Gadwicks, being able to refill the hand. Gadwick is just awesome. That card's really good. And, and I like Ral's Outburst. I think this is an underrated card. So yeah, this is just a good old deck. Um, let's give it a try. So we're going to be playing it. So with all donation decks, I always play them through a league and play till we get five wins or two losses, whichever happens first. Um, do I think that Ionize is better than Sabotage here? Probably. This deck does a good job of closing out games with like the with the uh, damage that Ionize does. I, I like them both, basically. I like Sabotage a lot. I really like the Surveil one with that card. And I like Ionize too. So I, I really like them both. So basically, for me, you can't go wrong with either one. Um, yeah, Hellkite. So, so what matchups are Hellkite and Embercleave for? Now, not, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I would think that Embercleave would allow you, like, the reason to play an Embercleave would be so you your Brineborn Cutthroats can trample over Cauldron Familiar. That would be. If like you know, I'm trying to think of like a, a way to like the reason to use Embercleave. That's like the one reason to use Embercleave, in my opinion. So a deck that has Cauldron Familiar, that's trying to just make, or <clears throat> or a deck with a bunch of little one ones. Like if there's like a, you know, like a token based strategy with a bunch of small creatures. Basically, a deck that's that has a lot of small creatures on the ground that can go wide, where you can't kill all of their creatures. But you want your like large cutthroat to be able to trample over them. That's the reason to play Embercleave. <clears throat> hey Rochian, doing great. Doing great. Alright, now Hellkite, the reason to play that is if there's a lot of just creatures on the ground, you want a flying threat that can end games pretty fast. That's probably the, the biggest reason to play Hellkite. Just get another threat in, in the deck. So unfortunately, I have to just bounce the Othakaya back to their hand to make the Cutthroat a 5-4. That's my only way to make that thing a 5-4, though. So it doesn't die to the Othakaya. Okay, down there. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hmm.
Okay. Okay, Ionize is a rare. You don't have any of them. Then, then yeah, go ahead and just play Guild Summit. Talk about something I was not expecting. So I could have gone for lethal by just playing the cutthroat and then having the outburst to do an extra do some extra damage to him. That's the problem with Realm Cloak Giant. Bone Crusher Giant is very widely played right now. I don't know if I want all these mystical disputes. Just kind of throwing them in there for now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we probably want mystical disputes. Yeah, we probably want those. Yeah, we got a counter to fairy. So if I if I just take out the red spells. This could be kind of difficult if they do have Teferi that I don't get to counter. Could make my life a little more difficult. Oh, this is 61. What it said, brought in... Okay, so that's just bringing in Mystical Dispute and Negate and taking out the red spells. Hmm. 26 land? I don't think we really need 26 land in this matchup. It's a slower matchup. We should have time to be able to hit land drops and everything. I'm going to take out the Blast Zone and play a Hellkite. 25 lands is plenty. Plenty of lands. So it's not a bad play to just Bone Crusher Giant them, but with them missing land drop, I'm not playing anything and letting them cast Dovin's Veto. I'm basically just not going to turn on like their spells. I'm just going to make them just go to discard. You know, like why why let them just play a, a spell? Now the main question is, do I just play a Bone Crusher Giant? They're a couple of turns away from a Sweeper. I think I do. Oh, that's right. All right, maybe I shouldn't have. I don't actually get to cast mystical dispute now oh 
don't know if this is really worth a counter spell, to be honest. And they just don't have lands, though. Down, 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 down. So like how how to be correct to kill giant over cutthroat? The biggest reason I could see is if they're playing a bunch of legions ends, they have legions end in hand. It didn't it didn't seem like, but yeah. Also at the time that the giant was attacking for four, the other was attacking for three. Maybe they were also just hoping I had no spells in my hand. And then I was only attacking for three instead of four. Yeah, and yeah, that's another good reason is because we saw them have Realm Cloak Giants. So they got to kill the giant because of they have Realm Cloak Giant. Oh no, you had an Azorius control player counter their time wipe instead of your counter spell. And then they shame conceded. Wham, wham. Whoops. the old arboreal grazer play my second land all right turn two well i don't have any more lands now but that grazer got that second one in so fast that's why with the boreal grazer you really have to have like 26 plus lands in your deck i think 26 is like the minimum I guess so. Yeah, really, really frustrating when you want to build up a one-sided a one-sided sweeper in your giant deck, but then opponent just plays giants because they're pretty good too. All right, Quench. We need more land. I feel like we're gonna draw land here. Darn, I really thought we were. I went to Bone Crusher Giant, kill the Paradise Druid. But then. Uh, here, I'm casting this and looking for a land. Uh, negate's good. Ugh. And I have no counter magic, but they just have three mana. Of course, we have borrowers if something resolves that so is that big of a deal. You think I should kill the goose? 
The Goose can't add mana right now. The Paradise Druid just always adds mana all the time. This adds mana like every once in a while. Come on. There's 26 in the deck. I mulliganed to six and I did put my fourth land. I had four lands in my opener and I put it down to the bottom. Hey, Giovanni. gonna give them a bunch of mana and can draw them cards right now they they can't play like a nissa they only have four lands uh, vivian close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild we're fit enough to survive My, my, how you've grown. Six, six, crisis. Gosh, crisis is such a problem.
such a problem. So I'm going to bounce it on end step so I can untap and have ionize for the crisis. So if I, if I bounce it now, they just replay it as a 6-6. Six, six. You can draw zero cards. Cool. So I don't kill the Vivian, but I get rid of the Goose so they only have one blue mana so they can't play the Brazen Borrower. The thing is, if I attack everything at Vivian to make sure to kill the Vivian, they don't block with the Goose. And these Borrowers being instant speed threats that are lethal is problematic, of course. I guess this one is a thing too, though. Knocked. I guess that's a thing. Well, darn. Uh, this also means I have to try to deal with Ceratops here after sideboard. That's going to be really tough. All right, I guess I guess I need I need to just attack all out of Vivian. I did not play. That was not a good play against Ceratops. Like, Negate, Dispute, Coil, Dragonfire, Flame Sweep, all these things are useful at times. So I need Coil because of Ceratops. But I kind of want some of these other cards, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably not being Ceratops. This doesn't do anything against Ceratops, it's blue.
So they just got forest, forest, forest over there. So this game looks good for us. Definitely possible that they're just... They just kept a hand with Ceratopses. That can be like the only thing that I can think of why they kept this hand. So obviously that's just game. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, we just want we drew lands. That's why we won. All right, well, not a great hand against. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say against Ceratops, but we just found a couple of cards that help out. Old Paradise Druid and your hex proofing. Would have been just fine if we would have had. Would have been just fine if we would have had uh, that Brian Born Cutthroat in play too. I just didn't. I don't like how that Steam Vents was a Steam Vents and would cause me to shock. I, I wouldn't mind another land, but, you know, with us having, you know, we get another card from the this scry draw, and then, um, and then we get another card for turn, and then we get another card here. Mm, we ended up getting us. Didn't end up getting a steam vents and costing us two life anyway. Those are just really good follow-ups to the Ceratops when I had to tap out those haste threats, and especially Nissa, because Nissa leaves behind this thing. So obviously I need to play Bone Crusher Giant to block this, but then I can't deal with the Nissa. So I can't, I can't win. It's possible they don't play Nissa and they play another Questing Beast. Because they're scared of negate. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. Nope. 
Cannot bounce lands. And both those losses were pretty close. No, we'd, we'd never want to bounce Druid. There, we would just kill Druid with the other giant. With the stomp. But yeah, we can't, can't bounce lands, so... The game one, though, maybe if I had just attacked the Vivian all out, maybe we should have won that game one. I don't know. That, uh, I don't know. They're about to draw a bunch more with the Crisis. Those are two frustrating losses that we had. Hmm. If we didn't... You know, like, if, if we didn't have a shock land there, that if our last land wasn't a shock land, if it was just a... A, you know, an island or a mountain. We may have been able to win that one. I think there's a better chance we win this game than go to five and win. Even though this hand doesn't look great right now. I like the opponent's deck. It's pretty sweet. I like their deck more than my deck. As a deck in principle, that is. As a strat. Would you? Why would you auto tap like that? Scadwick was an awkward one to draw here. After after just bouncing that Fen Lurker. That was pretty awkward. This is awkward, too. Whoops. Need to keep that steam vents. Ugh. 
awkward. Yeah, I need to keep the steam vents just to exile it, and I wouldn't have cast the rallies out first. Then. We're drawing really well though, drawing cutthroat into borrower. That's those are two good draws back to back. Wow, then an outburst. Drawn very well. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. They drew the creature. Yeah, this is going to be real close. Basically, this thing knocks me down to five. Wow. Man, I drew really well. Because then we would blow this thing up, and they would attack me to one, and, you know, it would be one to one. But we drew the Bone Crusher. Oh, that was a close one. And so that's why having the dragon fire kill that 1-1 one, one was important. Hmm. So I don't really like dragon fire. I think I just want to play blue spells instead. So I'll just play negate in a dispute. but not going to change up too much. All right, so this matchup, with them having all the discard things, this is actually just a, a good hand to have because we just want them to... Yeah, like They're, they're going to be making us exile stuff. So like the cards in my hand at the beginning of the game don't really matter. So this is just fine that we just have all these lands that we get to exile and discard and everything. But having sheer card count is important. It's kind of like eight rack and modern. You just don't you don't want to mulligan hands against a deck playing all these fen lurkers and rats and stuff like that. You just don't want to be mulliganing your hands.
Draw two. Wait another turn. There we go. We got a bunch of extra lands to to get rid of with these, and now we'll have our spells and have our land drops. And so that was honestly just a good hand in this matchup. Just kind of weird having the six land Gadwick hand and thinking that you have a good hand, but we did. I should go to attackers first, I think. I think. This is a pretty aggressive move by me here. It's probably too aggressive considering they're a Kai's Wrath deck. It's probably too aggressive. Probably don't have Kai's Wrath if they're just throwing down two creatures. And remember, we've gone through a whole lot of our lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's why we're kind of drawing spells here. Because we've already gone through 13 lands. Yeah, negate's fine. All right, make that 15 lands. Fair enough. Mm 
Fair enough. Good, good play, good play. They really should be attacking out there. Right? I feel like they should be. Basically, they're just not going to win a long game. Let's so go on the risky move here. They they do have lethal, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they were one point off, but actually now that Soren gets them that one extra point. No. But still. Yeah, they're still one point off, but... Now they can gain millions of life. All right. Well, I liked our opening hand, and I think it. I think it actually played pretty well. Like maybe I should have held the Gadwick to draw a little bit more. These borrowers. I think the borrowers probably have to go. None of those cards are anything that I ever want to bounce. I think we should probably just get those out of here. This seems like. I guess they have all these like little cheap creatures. We could Ember Cleave. Um, I kind of want to just Flame Sweep. Some of their small creatures here. Play like two flame sweep, two hell kite. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That was a good game, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. My opponent's molded to five. I don't. I don't use Twitter at all. I mean, I mean, yeah. So I'd, I deleted Twitter a long time ago. Sorry. Definitely happy about that decision. Been a lot more productive in my life without it. Shock? No, we don't need a shock. Getting these quenches out of my hand while they can still counter stuff before we get to a state in the game where they can't.
<laughs> My opponent mulled to five and we're like even on cards, three and three. I mean, this would have been better as Brazen Borrower. I just took out Brazen Borrower for that. And Hellkite. Like, these these would have been bar better as Borrowers, honestly. Because, you know, Borrower, I'd be able to keep the mana up and everything. But that's just kind of how this game played out, though. Maybe on the play, we want Borrower. Ooh, that's a rough spot for him. That's not good for them. Alright, well, that's... That means this is over. They had to have the answer for Hellkite right then. So basically, I could try. I could save Cutthroat, but then if I save Cutthroat, it's a three-two. And then if they have, if there are other things, another removal spell, then they kill Hellkite. And I'd rather just make sure that we're saving Hellkite at this point of the game. It's going to be just kind of difficult to deal with Hellkite. Not many things are going to kill it. So there we go, two and one. More level up. Leave my territory, or I'll remove you. Another pack. Yourself. Another ranger. What do we got? Do we get a wild card? Nope. Twenty jams. All right, we've been playing for almost an hour in this league. I'll go ahead and reset arena. Go ahead and do the reset um, before it gets real bad. How's everybody else's weekend been? I've had a good one with you know having the sub battle stream yesterday was was a lot of fun. That's it's always always a lot of fun doing that. And then um you know, I'm looking forward to these best of one decks today. And of course, just can't wait can't wait till Tuesday. Can't wait to build a new computer. Nice, right, Claire? Your weekend's been great too. Good, good. Yeah, I can't wait to get this new computer. Just today and tomorrow. Two more streams. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why I like sub battle day. They get all the wins. Uh, looks like a flash mirror. Simic versus is it? Hey, <laughs> yeah, I've never used an SSD before. Okay, you've had a weekend of Christmas parties. Yeah, QQ was talking about having a Christmas party, I think on Friday, also.
So I'm being aggressive here with the Bone Crusher Giant because thought it'd be a good thought it could be a good time to get those in. And now we get to just hold up counter magic. Yeah, my, my opponent should have just played this while I was tapped out. The ambusher. Oh right, that was that was my turn. So the cutthroat didn't get a counter. Whoops. Whoops. Hawkeye was in the way. I'm blaming him. <laughs> blaming Hawkeye. But yeah, obviously I should play the cutthroat um, here and give this other cutthroat a counter. Like obviously I want to quench this, but I should have just quenched and then cutthroated. Hey Chris, thanks for the resub. <laughs> what you doing, Hawkeye? Thank you, Chris. Thanks for that resub. So I should be doing one more point of damage there with that cutthroat. But it's okay. You sound like you have a snotty nose again. All right, so there, Simic Flash Ramp. Oh man, this is going slow. There we go. Um. We gotta be able to kill the ambushers. Let's try this. Don't love the second Gadwick, but I can't really complain about the rest of the hand. So we're going to be keeping it. So yeah, let's let's keep it. No, there's no certain card that you mulligan for in this deck. Um, no, you you don't do that. That's a that's something that you don't do hardly ever. Is mulligan for a certain card in any deck, especially not in standard. Um, that's something you do maybe more in older formats. Um, and sideboard cards that you really need, like a Leyline of the Void kind of thing in older formats, but 
no, that's not really a practice to have in standard. Standard, you just you want to have like like the games go longer. You want to have as many cards as you can have. You don't need to mulligan for one specific card very often. That's kind of more of like a, a matchup thing too. Like if you're playing against some specific deck like where where you really want um some quick card to answer like an aggro deck. So the gross spiral just speeds them up. Like their decks are all about their four mana stuff. I'm just not scared of like a, a three mana threat, basically. You know, like, so, yeah, I thought I had the ability to do that. Obviously, we need more blue mana. This blast zone looking bad here. I'm going to just cast the opt looking for blue mana. I feel like they have Mystical Dispute also. I play the Brineborn Cutthroat. It gets Mystical Disputed. Hmm. Well, that went pretty poorly for me. It's not a great full house. So making a commander deck, still need to add basic lands and cut my main deck to 100. So I still need to cut at least 36 cards. <laughs> uh, that's the tough part about commander deck. Just want to play them all. I'm glad there's there's no frilled mystic or night pack ambusher for an option here. Yep, they did have the mystical dispute. Called that. But I'd rather I'd rather that get disputed than an island get or sorry, than an ionize get disputed. If I knew for sure that I was going to be hitting my fifth land drop, I probably could have waited a turn so we'd be able to pay for dispute, but obviously we had no no idea that we were for sure going to be hitting our next land drop really fast. Uh, wait, cancel. You can't put that many counters on that thing. I meant two counters. Spend four mana. I'm... Like, if they had a, if they had a green source where they could play Ambusher, I would not be tapping out like this. But they don't, so I'm kind of free to, to, to tap out. Um, I don't know. It's fine. It's nothing special. It's fine. Uh, I'll put it down to the bottom. No, this makes our life worse. This makes our life a lot worse. Now they could have Frilled Mystic to counter Gadwick as well.
gosh, because I just can't. Like, these Gadwicks are just pretty rough. I can't really tap out for them, because then I won't have anything for... Uh, so I think it's pretty likely they have another Nissa. Do I draw three? Okay, that's not bad. So we're inevitably going to have to bounce something. I'll take the extra land, of course, because all these Gadwicks, we need a lot of a lot of lands. So I'm going to be putting the fourth counter on the blast zone. Yeah, I could have played just unloaded a Gadwick and drawn three. But then if my opponent just plays, if I don't draw anything to deal with like a Nissa, my opponent, or an Ambusher, and they just untap, just play an Ambusher or a Nissa, it's pretty likely they have another Nissa if they just fired this one out there like that. Um, yeah, I could be in trouble. But, but at least Gadwick would have resolved. You know, we would have got Gadwick under a counter spell. Okay, Hawkeye. Okay. He's coughing back there. Yeah, it looks like my opponent got disconnected. Too bad. It's too bad. All right, let's update our record three and one. We were up a game there and looking okay. I don't know if you know they would have played something during their turn. I don't know. I don't know how that game should have ended. Nero. Nero, welcome back. Thanks for the resub. All 
Alright, Sphinx of Foresight. So, of course, we know that means Jeskai Fires. And our ninth sub of the day. Getting towards that sub goal. So I'm going for the high upside play. There's 26 lands in the deck. Going for the high upside play of turn three. You know, go and cut cutthroat on two, cutthroat plus opt on turn three, and be able to use the opt to get multiple counters. Or like, well, one counter each on two different. Cutthroats. Instead of playing it turn one to make sure we hit another land drop. Had it the whole time. Hey, what's up, Barry? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. So it's possible I, I just want to let this... Let this resolve, honestly. All right, so we hit a sub goal. So that's going to go towards our next 12-hour stream. As y'all know, it's 10 subs for a sub goal and then 20 sub goals for a 12-hour stream. So that's number 17. So we're three away now. I may just let this resolve... We can beat a Sphinx of Foresight just fine. It's really annoying. Oh, I should have killed the foresight. Oh, I actually forgot about the three damage going to the Sphinx. Oh, I could have killed the Sphinx. Oh, I should have killed the Sphinx. I just I just didn't think of the three damage going to the Sphinx. My bad. Yeah, I should have bone crushed the Sphinx. That was a mistake. They wouldn't have got that scry to the bottom there. Oh, come on.
GG. Well, I could have played this a little cleaner, just a little cleaner, if I would have killed the, if I would have bone crushered the Sphinx. But I really liked all the other decisions I made in that that game, besides that one decision. Yeah, definitely got rewarded for not playing Cutthroat first. There, that last turn. So I guess we just play this. Here we go. Yeah, just two more days. Ugh. Wow, this hand's good. Why do I have to put one of these cards back? I guess it's this. Take out the blast zone for for the ether gust. I could see that. I definitely kind of want. I kind of wanted to play the ether gust. I was thinking about taking out the fourth Gadwick. For Ether Gust. Hey, Deacon. I could see that on the draw, taking out that 26th land. Um. Basically, if they have if they have another Teferi and Mystical Dispute to protect it, and then they minus their Teferi, then Bone Crusher Giant can kill the Teferi. Oh, that's a lot of ifs. Alright, what they got? I wanted to do this first in case we got Quench, because the Quench would actually counter this thing right now. I think with me tapping out for Gadwick next turn, I put this to the bottom. Should I even tap out for Gadwick next turn, though? Maybe I don't. Ugh! Dang, I would have been able to use Quench there. If I would have put the op to the bottom. Dang. 
And then if I would have, if I would have, you know, if I would have put the op to the bottom, I would have been able to quench the Kenrith, then I could have ionized you show remorse. the Teferi. I've got it. Wow. That hurt a lot. There you go. You only need to cut 16 cards now. You're getting there. Ouch, that hurt. Don't worry, I got this. I shuffle these Bone Crusher Giants back in. Looks like they got this one though. Let's try this. And that was a tough call with that opt. Should I take out the Blast Zone or the 4th Gadwick? I'm going to take out the 4th Gadwick for this Aether Gust. This isn't a great Gadwick matchup because I just I just can't really afford to tap out. Ever because it's fairy. Hmm. So would I rather have this or Gadwick in this hand? <laughs> Could be Gadwick. Let's go. Steam vents tapped. We'll wait for after the cutthroat before I play the opt. Man, one little small decision like that. They scried all three to the top? Wow. That's probably bad for me. Yeah, kind of going with the best of one day Sunday. Besides this league right now, this is not best of one. But everything else is. Um, and we'll be doing best of one again tomorrow. Just last two days here with this computer, I just I think that it, the best of one matches help out a lot more as far as... Why would they play War Boss here? As far as, like, shorter matches before the computer starts lagging and everything. Oh, yeah, it was definitely a reasonable line to keep opt. I don't, I don't, like, I would probably keep opt again. It's just really unfortunate how it all, um, how it all lined up after keeping the opt that last game.
So we're gonna go with the negate here so that we have quenches for creatures. The games that you do you have turn two cutthroat and they they can't kill cutthroat. You know, makes cutthroat makes the deck really makes the deck more powerful. All right, we're four and one. We're playing one more match. I'll go ahead and nope, just do the exit. We'll go ahead and restart. One last restart. All right, four and one. Five win dream still in tax. You know, this is the last match for this deck either way. Either we get our five wins or we get the two losses. So that means, as y'all know, this is the final boss. Let's get some final boss emotes in the chat. There we go. And that means we need final boss playlist. Let's go. Ugh, mulligan. All right. Putting back steam vents. So we'll play the temple first, and then we don't really want to keep shocking a lot. We don't need four red mana. We'll just keep the basic island. All right, two lands at the bottom. That was a good temple. Good temple. Gruel. But we're not gruel. Does that mean we die? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, QQ added, added that message after yesterday. Ended up being a pretty loaded hand with having that cutthroat on too. Hope they have a, an, a, you know, a spell that we get gets in the gate. Doesn't look like it. I guess concede is good too, though. That'll work. Gust. Uh, uh, probably gust and more red spells. Less negate. Alberta seems kind of slow all the time.
All right, we got game one against the final boss. That's a good looking hand. We need more land, though. I think it's it's almost certain that they have Bone Crusher Giants in their hand. They would kill my cutthroat. Good play. And so instead of just playing my cutthroat, it dies, and then I'm still kind of behind. Honestly, I think I should borrow her that. Uh, maybe not. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, Gruel Aggro is definitely slowed down with the bands for sure. Alright, so now we get Cutthroat in here. Glad they didn't have another Bone Crusher. They've done a good job hitting land drops. Ooh. Gotta counter that. Sure. I'll just keep my life total high. Obviously, you know, like, we have all these cards. Just keep the life total high. They shocked their own knight to keep me from getting... To, from having a Bone Crusher giant. It was, it was a good play. It was the same play I was doing... a lot with... Um, With mono red a little bit ago, because I was going to use bone. Cru I I had bone crusher dying their their knight anyway, so the knight was going to die. To basically, keep me from having. Uh, keep me from having a Bone Crusher Giant. Oh. I was hoping they didn't block.
As is, we'll be able to win this race. That was good. Oh, maybe I should have just played Island. Okay, I only subscribed one thing to the bottom anyway. And if they they have to pay for that, it taps them out. And that's game. Good close game there. But that's a 5-1 for Is It Flash? And there we go, we're victorious. <laughs> As the Lord of the Rings music makes you feel like you should get a group of friends together and walk somewhere. <laughs> Do some hiking. All right, but yeah, of course this deck, this is just a really good solid deck. Um, you know, a lot of people brought this to the Mythic Championship. Did fairly well with it. I don't think anybody made top eight with it. But there was good records, like, you know, I don't know, nine nine wins, eight wins, seven wins, stuff like that. Definitely just a good, a solid deck. No. I mean, I don't really like the Embercleaves, honestly. But I can see wanting to play this to, to be able to get through the Cauldron Familiar decks. So we didn't play against any Cauldron Familiar decks, so we didn't really need it. The Alper seemed like something I wanted to sideboard out a lot. But I don't I don't hate that it's in the deck or anything. I think it's just fine. Quench was really good. It's a card that's kind of controversial. This this was just really good throughout the, the whole time. There was like one game against Jeskai Fires where it wasn't so good. But besides that, it was really good countering creatures and um, creatures and spells, whatever we need to counter. Good list here. All right, so those of you on uh, YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And of course, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Is It Flash. I know there's a lot of people playing it. So if you're playing a lot of Is It Flash, let me know how it's going for you or anything. Um, that you like or don't like about this list, um, feel free to leave some comments over there. But thank you so much for watching to Mizzet Flash, and I'll see you for the next video.